<clears throat> to do some unboxings. I'm trying out a new phone, but I'm trying to figure out how to turn the flash on it. That's pretty bad. Let me see. Enable flash. Now we have some light. Okay, I'm doing um, giveaways that I won on YouTube and a surprise, a surprise sweepstakes win that came in. So I'm on a new phone, so you know which phone it is. I'm on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Sky Pro, and this one actually has a pause on it. And I can actually pause during videos, which would be great. So if you missed the live, you can, um, you know, come back and watch it later. All right. So I'm hoping somebody, or, you know, somehow, oops, that was not good. It's live and I can't edit it. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm hoping you all can come in the live. I like to, I'm trying to fix the, it says rotate device. Okay, a time that um, everybody can be on or, you know, dinner's done and your kids are to bed and all that kind of stuff. But first one, I have this big flat rate box. And it's funny because when she asked for my address, it was through Instagram. I went on YouTube, which is a YouTube channel. Her, but she asked for my address, and I never, I give her my address, I never thought to give her my first and last name. So she sent it to Sassy Chick VT, which is my Instagram name. And it still arrived, but that's kind of funny when I read the label. And this was her first giveaway ever. She does have a channel. She just moved. And um, she just filmed a new video two days ago. Her name is Linda Langs, L-A-N-G-E. And she has a beauty unboxing channel. And this was her first giveaway. She's going to... She's announced the winner of her second one. And she's going to be having another one soon. And she only has 133 subscribers. She deserves a lot more. So head on over there and like her channel. So we have a lot of protection here. We have some bubble wrap. We have some foam from like the boxy charm boxes. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of goodies in here. Oops, I don't want the way this phone is. There we go. Almost in the box. This box is full. Full. Oh yes. So I gotta prop you on. I gotta set up a better like tripod thing that hooks to my table here. So I'm trying to bend it up without having it like bounce around. I thought it was the exact shape I needed it for the video. So it only gives me a few inches distance. But it seems like the clarity is a lot better on this phone. And that's what I was looking for. So, But I hope it uploads as fast as my other phone that doesn't pause. Oh, I don't even have my chat up. Oh my goodness. I'm going to use my other phone here and pull up the chat. I'm so sorry, guys. did not even um okay my uh boyfriend's messaging me i had to tell him sorry i'm doing a live all right let me go to my youtube oh my goodness i don't do lives very often so i should be able to go into all right I'm in my own live. Right. I'm, on. I'm in my own live. Okay, it's repeating itself, so I had to turn the volume up. All right. Hi, Melissa. I see you. I got my chat up on my other device here. So I just pulled up my... That way I can see the chat. Wow. Wow, there's a delay from when I do it. Like, there's like a three-second delay. So, um... I'm just going to type in here so you guys know I'm here. All right. Let's get into what I won. So I have, um, like I said, two. 
giveaways that I won and a surprise sweepstakes that I won that came in the mail. So first one is from Linda Lang and this is LA Butte Soy and it comes in this beautiful leather wrap. And I, this is the first time me looking at any of this and I've won, I won this. Oh my goodness. The label says, This was delivered in January. That's pretty bad. And I haven't got time to open it yet. Look at all these brushes. Oh my goodness, they are so soft. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at them and I'm trying to look at that at the same time. <laughs> oh, I like the um, firmness of that one. There's a fan brush, a bunch of eye brushes. And these are great if you're traveling, even, you know, wherever and keep your brushes nice so that is a beautiful brush set I only think I saw like maybe a few items she was gonna have so I didn't get to see everything that you know most of it was supposed to be a surprise so and plus it's been some time so I don't I mean this box is full all right the next is a evening Google eye mask by Vita Mass Repair, repair and relax made with copper, amino acids, hydraulic acid, and centella. And next item is Ciate London Stag. And this, um, I remember Ipsy Plus had this. You can do a little wing stamper on one side and it's a liquid liner on the other. That's really cool. This is make my <laughs> this is funny make my ex want to get it back cbd activated charcoal compression compressed sheet mask and it's very tiny in here and once it it's like you, you put water on it it expands then you put it on your face and unwrap it it says add water or aloe vera to moisturize sheet mask and until it expands Leave for 10 on for and it's an activated charcoal. And I think I it'd be fun to put this do a video trying mask on, like have a mask night with um my boyfriend putting me can put on a mask. All right, the next item is from Crown Beauty. And it is a eyeliner. There's so much in here. Oh my goodness. Next we have Tristique Face Visage Cheek Charm before. But it arrived broken. So I didn't get to use it. So you open it up. And this one's. Um, it looks like a crayon. I'll show you quickly. This Tristique. Did I? Tristique brand is really good. So there's a brush inside. It says, oh, that's. Okay, now it says I'm live. For some reason it buffered there for a minute. And this magnet. And then down here is your brush that's really dense. So you can rub it in and blend it in. So that's really cool. It's all in one. Cool. Cool, cool. Some exciting new items to try. Then we have like the girls. It's G O U R M A N D E. And this is must be one of their mascaras. So I have the mascara open right now. So I'm not gonna open that. Because once you open them, you gotta, you know, they dry out after a little bit. And I don't know if she's affiliated with them, but I know they um, said they were going to put stuff in another one for a giveaway, so I don't know if she's affiliated um, with the Gourmage Girls brand. Then we have First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oat and Cannabis Seed Oil. And I can't remember. I put this in a box. I can't remember. I think it was Ipsy. I've never heard of this. Drip, Drip in Diamonds Beauty. Oh my goodness, I've never even heard of this. 
And it says it's garnet. Let me see. I'm trying to get open here. Open, open. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Yes, look at that color. That is, oh my goodness. It's just separated from sitting. But look at that bling. This would be cool to have them out in like a lipstick stand. Reminds me of Jeffree Star with all the bling. And we're still going here. I mean, there's stuff in this box. Oh my goodness. All right, then we have, what is this? Ardell brand, Wispies Fiber Building Mascara. And it has an hourglass wand. That's pretty cool. There's a wand on there. And it's in black. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, there's something little here. Oh, here's a little um, the Kabuki brush by Bella, Bella Pierre. Oh, then it, the uh, the Sick Sculpt Bronzer Duel Duo by Gigi Gorgeous. I remember when they had this and these were these are a nice line. Hold on. Ipsy had these a few months ago. The Sick Sculpt Bronzer Duo in Turnt and Extra. Reminds me of like the CoverGirl Press Powder Compact. How it opens. But there's your two bronzer and contour. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. And there is still two large items in the box. Oh my goodness. This is like endless giveaway. Just this one box. Amazing prizes. You need to check out her channel. Like I said, it's Linda Lang. L-A-N-G-E. And she's going to be uploading another giveaway. So, want to go over and let her know that I sent you over in the comments. It doesn't give me another entry. Just um, let her know and say, hey, I saw you. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Yeah, I'm kind of, it's funny, like a year, a little over a year ago, before I got into subscription boxes, I cringed at paying $5 for an eyeliner at Walmart, like every four or five months. And now what I spend on makeup, I don't even want to tell you. <laughs> it's funny. It's like you get used to that being the norm. It's like when we first find Reborns, we're like, $200, are you kidding me? Now it's like, oh, if you find one at $160 or whatever, you're like, oh, that's a deal. You know what I mean? It's, it's funny like how you get used to that's the normal price. All right, so then we have Gourmage Girls. We have my favorites. We have an eyeshadow palette. Okay, it's reconnected. Sorry. I'm like, oh, I've never um, had this buffering issue, but maybe my son's watching TV, but I have high-speed internet. It shouldn't buffer like that, unless it's a YouTube thing. But this is inside of that. Um, that's why we just stop or buffering. And look at those press letters. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, those are bright. Okay, and last but not least, in this box. Is we have another palette by Sh the Gourmage Girls, but it's Sugar Shop. It has a cute donuts on it. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Let's move the film. It's got a big mirror there. I don't want to blind you. That one's Lollipop. Ooh, I love this one. The marshmallow. Look at that. Purple glaze. And that purple, oh my goodness, strawberry shortcake. Oh, they are buttery. Look at the chrome. Oh my goodness. All right, I gotta try the purple. Look at that chrome effect. Wow. That is some serious colors. 
Okay. So that huge box was the first giveaway. Now let me move on over. All right. The second giveaway I won. Thank you, Melissa. Was came in this um, flat rate box, or sorry, envelope, envelope, and it was from Samantha Sweets. She has a channel, and I was the second prize runner up, and it was just supposed to be like a small bag of mixture. I didn't know what it is, so we're gonna find out together, and then we'll go into what the surprise sweepstakes was. All right. Immediately, I'm I found something big sticking out here, and it's got a unicorn on it. It is by J Cat Beauty. It is Unicorn Magic Glow Highlighter Palette. Ooh, let's pull this baby out. Oh, look at that! All right, get out of there. <laughs> Didn't like this tray. Ooh, ooh, look at that purples and everything. And even though it's highlighter, you can use this as eyeshadow, whatever. I mean, there's no rules to makeup. If it's a pressed powder like that and it's made for your face, I mean, you can use it as an eyeshadow. I know, I love the colors. It's like eyeshadow is my favorite, I think, because. Eyeshadow and liquid lipsticks, lipstick in general. I think those are my two favorites because, especially eyeshadow, you can get so many different colors and, oh my goodness, there's a lot in here. Okay. All right, next we have... A face mask, which is Essential Herb Canola Honey Mask. And skincare is great. You always need masks because if your face is like your canvas, if you don't take care of your face, then how are you going to put beauty products on it, you know? <laughs> then we have a Profusion Lip Gloss. Look at this chrome metallic. I've never tried Profusion lip gloss ever. So we're gonna have to swatch this. Take off, I'm trying to take off the safety seal. It's not all right, it's coming up. Oh, the safety seal is or the seal thing is still on there. It's come off there. Okay, I guess we're gonna swatch. I'm gonna have to get it off after the live. All right, so we're gonna swatch this. I didn't get enough of it on there. Oh, it smells like bubblegum candy. It's kind of like a coppery, and this is pretty. Like, if you have a dark matte lipstick and you want to add some sheen to it, this would be perfect. Which, that I have. I love to layer lip glosses on lipsticks and... Next is a mascara by Believe Beauty Extending Lash Lengthening Mascara. Wow, I'm getting set on mascaras. Believe in. I think this is the new line. Yeah, that Dollar General just came out with, and I haven't tried them yet. It's Pretty and Primed Stay Put Makeup Primer. So I'm going to be excited to try these. Then there's a NYX. I love NYX. What are you? Colored Lip Balm. And Color Tack. So it's like this light mauve pink. It's kind of showing up lighter on here, but... Then we have another belief. This is a very pretty topper. Again, if you have a darker lipstick, you want to lighten it up. And this is Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss. And it has like the security seal on it. That's pretty. 
So, to recap, we got, I mean, we got a lot. I got all this, this, and the highlighter palette. So, that was as, like, a secondary prize. That was a lot. So, both of them. All right, on to the sweepstakes. Now, I got a letter. I'm going to cover up my, my address. And it had, like, this from Rochester, New York. And I got a phone call the other day from that. And I'm, like, an hour and a half from this town in New York. I'm in Vermont. And I'm thinking, I thought it was trash mail. I was going to rip it up and throw it away. Well, it's a good thing I didn't. Because I opened it up to make sure it wasn't a sample. Because I, I signed up for, like, you know, hair mask samples, all these things. All the time, and I'm like, well, maybe it's something like that, right? Well, you know, I was like, what? And I know that Walmart's had delays in shipping and stuff like that, and I haven't, I have to claim the insurance on one of my son's tablets. So I'm like, I know it's not that, because I haven't done it yet, because one of his tablets broke, and I have the replacement insurance there. So it's a letter from Walmart. Okay, you can see that. So it says, Dear Walmart customer, I'll show you the top. It says, Dear Walmart customer, congratulations. You are one of our first prize winners in the recent Walmart quarterly sweepstakes. And I'm thinking, what? You know, like what? Well, you know, on your receipts and you get that do the survey thing and you click the link. Well, I scan my receipts into my Walmart app. They used to have the price saver thing there. But I scan them in there so that if I ever need to return something or I need to buy something again, I just go to my purchase history and I can just click it, you know, if something's wrong or whatever. Or if I have insurance on them, something, I don't have to find that receipt. And it just saves me so much time. Well, on most of them, when you cash out, there'll be a little survey thing there. And I've done them a few times. And didn't win anything, didn't think of it. And I did it a few more times because I was, you know, trying to get my store to improve because we have what's called a Category B. It's a very small Walmart, and they really need to improve on restocking and, and things like that. Way before this pandemic or whatever. So, <clears throat> anyways, finished reading it. It says, during the sweepstakes period... You either filled out our online survey when you made a purchase at Walmart, entered online, or mail, mailed in a postcard to us with your information, earned you an entry into the sweepstakes. But I did this survey. Okay. Enclosed is a Walmart gift card. And I'm like, what? And I read on. Look. They even put on it. Enclosed is a Walmart gift card in the amount of $100. I was like, what? You can use this card at any Walmart store in the U.S. or Puerto Rico, including Sam's Club or online at Walmart.com. A lost or stolen card cannot be replaced, so please keep this card in a safe place. We appreciate your business. Thank you for participating in our sweepstakes. And I'm like, okay, so those Walmart things are real. I was so shocked I mean shocked I was like wow when and it was ironic too I said if I had waited a couple days I had just placed an order at Walmart for $115 so only half of it had shipped so I went in and canceled some of it and then went in and repurchased it so I didn't you know I saved myself some money and I still got some money on it but Oh, yeah. So, I bought a bunch of stuff, and I bought a bunch of Hello Bello diapers. Yes, because I have tons of Honest diapers and tons of Hello Bello, and I'm going to be start selling bundles of diapers and passies and, like, mystery bags and all kinds of different stuff for the Reborns. So, I thought that would be a fun idea. So, are you still here, Melissa? Uh, what do you guys think? Are you, are you shocked? I was shocked. I never thought, I mean, uh, I even went on their website and it says that 
they have an update. It says on there they didn't update the winners until after the winners are notified or whatever because um, I was on there to see if, you know, my name was listed. And I was like, okay. So I'm going to start entering more sweepstakes and stuff. <laughs> I was like, hi, Margie. We were just talking about um, how I was shocked that I got a letter in the mail from one state over from New York. And inside was a letter from Walmart that I won one of their surveys that you do. And I won a $100 gift card. And I was like, what? I didn't think that that survey thing, like... I'm like, nobody ever wins. And I guess enough people don't really do it. I, I don't know. But I was shocked. And I did two giveaways that I won um, from two different channels. I did a box openings of. I still need to I'll open my boxy charms. I got a box from... Oh, oh my goodness. can't even think. Bountiful Baby uh, with a different alternative fantasy baby and supplies and their new cuddle body kits and stuff like that. Cuddle bodies. Um, because I'm going to be making a reborn into a cuddle body. I have to put, I have two reborns I have to put together yet. They're all done and painted and everything. And rooted, but I just have to put them together. And then, uh, I was thinking about put, making one of them into a cuddle body. So I got one of their cuddle bodies. You should check them out. But, um, and I have a lot of beauty boxes and everything. It's like, oh my goodness. And subscriptions to keep on. And so I thought it'd be fun to do these three winnings, you know, all in one. Just do a live and see who was on. But, um, I've been on for about a half an hour. If you want to re-watch it, Margie, and see what I won, um, you can. And I appreciate you popping in. And you too, Melissa. I'm going to be getting off here because I need to do, um, put my son to bed and then do some videos of BoxyCharm Premium and two of my base boxes. One, well, I have a third one still on the way, but one of them I signed up as a new subscriber and a bonus, so um, I have those sitting right here. I have to get done. And so, good night, like, comment, subscribe, and as usual, happy hauling. <laughs> now, if I can figure out how to, next thing is how to get off the live because. This is the first, oh my goodness, first time I've used this phone. Let me see. I got this, oop. I'm going to show you this cute baby first. Say hi. I did a box opening of her, but I changed her um, yesterday. And I love these new uh, headbands. They feel almost like nylons. They're really soft. But she's so sweet. She's like, oh, yes. <laughs> and then I do have, I mean, I'm filming on my bed here with this table. But um, I have my cuddle baby here. She's got painted hair. She's really sweet. She's got a lot of details. Really cute details. She was done by Pumpkin Sparkle Babies on Instagram and she has a little bit of uh mono root here just a little bit of poofy hair she started like rooting a little bit right there to make it look wispy but her painted hair is oh my goodness is and I like the auburn I've never liked red-haired babies but I just loved all her details and her scratches and her depth and her little puckered lips but um I need to wait her. She's not wearing a unicorn sleep right now. I need to wait her a little more. I did it with poly beads, but 
I'm gonna do nylons, like cotton, or you know, the polyfill, and then nylon with the glass bead, and then polyfill. And then um, I'm gonna try that in all her limbs. She does have a sock like that in her body, but with just the poly beads, I don't feel like it's enough weight in the legs and the limbs. So I'm gonna, when I got her, she wasn't weighted in the limbs. You see my boxy charm boxes everywhere there. And a bunch of babies. Yeah, at the foot of my bed, there's a bunch of babies. My nursery is full. I have so many babies. It's not even funny. Like, I have... I don't even know. Between Paradise Galleries, I must have at least 35, 40. 40 or more. I know I have at least almost 60 Reborns. A masterpiece doll kids. The toddler ones and the big kids uh, that stand about four feet tall. I think I have 36 of those. I don't know. I would have to count. My nursery has overflowed that they're at the foot of my bed. They're on one side of my room. Uh, you can see right here. Ooh, my pillows. There is babies. There's a masterpiece toddler. There's a monkey on the wall. There's a mowing basket. That's a that's drawers of baby clothes. I have to rearrange my room big time. But there's reborns up there. There's uh, I have the big Charlotte toddler right there, but he's got his head tipped back. And that one's a Paradise Galleries right there. That's the Noah. Uh, he's the boy one. I have a girl one. Well, he's I have him as a boy. He's an African American one. I have a girl one. Uh, there's Paradise Galleries mixed with Aston Drake. I mean, there's so many. They're like all oh, there. I have so many babies. I mean, there's just babies over babies over babies. I have to redo. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea how many um, we need to, like, right in, as soon as you walk in my nursery right now, there is, all right, we're going to put on a baby so for chatting for a minute here. She's like, um, this is not comfy. All right, let's turn you a little bit here. She's like, I don't like this bright light. So right as you go in my nursery right now, though, there is, oh my goodness, two big stacks of Paradise Gallery boxes. I haven't unboxed yet of, of dolls. And I think there's over 30 that I got that I haven't unboxed yet. And then I have, oh, then I just started the Adora dolls. The Dora Toddlers. I got 13 or 14 of those that just came in from Amazon. Yeah. Because they're cheaper to buy them on Amazon than Paradise Galleries. So, I know Paradise Galleries asked me to be, sent me a message. Um, if I wanted to be a fan of the month, I'm like, I should be the fan of the millennium. <laughs> or the year, at least. But, uh, I'm going to be having an interactive giveaway again here i gotta um get that video up huh ah, yeah yep 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 she's one of my newer ones that i just recently got huh see my real she's a laura to zizio ross she's an older scope but she is heavy and cuddly I got packages everywhere on my bed this is a fuzzy mini mouse One more boy. Oh, how many do you have? Let me see. Let's see my twin A here. Let me talk to babies here for a minute. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have twin A and B, but I have A as a girl. You see her fontanels and all that. And then I have... 
be as the boy twin. I think I the girl. She's like, what are you doing to me? And they have matching me's on. Here, take that passy out. She's like, I don't like you doing this to me. I should be on a boppy and looking all cute instead of on this hard table. <laughs> There's a one of my hairs attached to this password and it's driving me nuts. You have four. I <clears throat> first found Reborns. Um, a Reborn art. Really? Spit it out. I don't like looking at you with not a password in your mouth. Myth this. A Reborn artist was having a yard sale and she runs a daycare locally in my town. I had never heard of Reborns. I had never seen them. Nothing. And will you stop spitting that out? See, I cut this one so it would fit her, but she's spitting it out. And so, um, let's leave it this way. So she was having a yard sale. And uh, my mom went there and she's like, you need to see these babies. And I'm like, what do you mean babies? She's like, this woman that's having how many yard sales selling babies? And I'm like, what? She's got a daycare and she's selling babies? I thought my mother was losing it. I'm like, what do you mean? So we go there and I see them. And she told me about um, the Bountiful Baby website. And my son's 11 now. He was, oh, oh my goodness, three and a half then. And... <clears throat> So I went there and I fell in love with, she had a precious gift boy and she ended up selling that one. So I ordered another different one and then I tried, had her make me a precious gift and it didn't come out looking like the first one. So she sold that one off. I didn't get that one. And then, um, so my first one was the Robin sculpt and I have her here. I have all four. I had her custom make me four of them. I ordered my first one as soon as I saw them within two days. And she bought them special clothes to your liking, all that, and delivered them. Or I went to her house and picked them up. So not until after that, when I went on, you know, eBay and YouTube and all that, did I ever order my first one on there and have my first box opening and stuff. And then I went into doll groups on Facebook, made friends and stuff. And um, a friend of mine, Melissa in Florida, made this baby for herself. And I was wanting a twin A. I had a twin B I got from a friend that uh, I was basically looking for the kit. And it was hardly any paint at all. And she told me that. She's like, there's hardly any paint. So I got it from her. And then Melissa was working on painting it, on painting it. And then my friend went to the Rose Doll Show and right afterwards passed away. I was un unexpectedly. I was like, oh my goodness. So that's like a memory baby. So that's like two friends and one on that baby. Um, but so I have the 20. That's how I. I saw when she was working on B, I was like, well, and I bought A off her. And this was from, um, for herself. And I said, well, paint them similarly. And, um, one Ashton Drake girl and a boy reborn and a full body silicone. The only silicone I have, I'm trying to think, is the Ashton Drake. Willows is the only one I've kept, and I put her on a reborn body because they have, you know, they're, I mean, no, I know they're tin silicone or whatever, but I didn't, they have, like, a packet, Ashton Drake and all their babies have a packet, literally a packet of dirt, in their body. It's literally like a little plastic baggie of dirt. Literally dirt. And so I took her off their body. 
put her on a reborn body, weighted the body, everything, and it was a world of difference. And um, I still have her because I had one and I was not happy. And then I realized, oh, uh, duh, I could have put it. But when I took her apart, her head, it looked like spray foam, like in spray insulation foam on the bottom of her head and stuff. But they do have one other silicone I'd like to put on a reborn body. But um, I was thinking of getting a silicone full body. But I wanted to go to the Rose Doll Show, which is not going to happen now. Because I wanted to hold one and feel one in person before I invested all that money in them. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I've gotten so many babies. And it's like, my favorite Reborns, I have to say, or I've bought from somebody, or... I mean, I have... Don't get me wrong. I have expensive, custom-made... Saskia boy that looks just like my son. I mean, dark root hair. He looks like the one that in love with the Reborns made. Alex there. Alexander with the dark hair. Yeah. But I ended up my friend that made him was an art is an artist and I ended up trading her two Reborns toward him and some clothes and some other stuff. So he didn't cost me like 600 plus. So, I mean, there is ways around it if you have friends or whatever to work with you. Or I've had ones I've paid payments on and got, I mean, on eBay. I have paid maybe $150 for, you know, a $1,000 prototype doll. I mean, sometimes you can really get some deals if you watch. And I buy from this one seller a lot. And I bought from her so much. I, it could be an auction that's ending, you know, like a week before I get paid. And she's like, oh, no problem. Just let me know when you're going to send payment. Because she knows I bought so much from her. And um, that's the, the other baby I was just showing you. The last two that I, last three that I opened three, four maybe, that have opened are all from her. Um, I do have one that I got that reminds me of... Hold on. Let me grab her. If you know In Love With Reborns, um, her sassy talking doll, Molly there. Molly had her own chair. Well, this is like Molly's cousin. I didn't realize how... I have to get mine off eBay only because, yeah, well, I mean, I've gotten some ones from eBay that are estate sale. And, you know, like, um, it means, like, maybe an old, someone had a collection and they passed away. And these people buy an estate sales and they don't really know what they are. They just write reborn doll. And then you, you know what the kid is or whatever and you can look it up. But look at this one. Look how thick her hair is. I mean, it looks much right now, but it is, like, very soft, though. It's not, it looks messed up right now, but what are you doing? But she's like, uh, Molly from In Love With The Ones. You know her voice that she does? That she's like, hey, I'm gonna kick your butt, or whatever. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> she looks just like Molly from In Love With The Ones. It's funny. When I saw her and I'm like, oh, I'm like, man, that doll looks familiar for some reason. And I got her and I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, that is Molly. <laughs> but Molly has a little bit different eyes and, um, but it's her kit. And, uh, but this one's hair I love a lot more. Look is spiky right now, but it is, gets really, it's really wavy. And it is really soft. I mean, bunny soft. She says, like, don't talk to me. And because of her, I showed my boyfriend the channel and Molly on it. And uh, a couple of her videos talking, he was laughing. And so, like, when he's over and he sees this one, I'll be like, don't mess with me, man. Like, you know, it's funny because he starts laughing. I'm like, really? You think you're going to mess with me? 
Don't mess with me, buddy. I can't go back. It's funny, like, and he starts laughing because it's like she has her own personality voice or something, like, and it, he's like, it's funny. But he's wicked supportive. He has um, one of my Cassie Brace babies that he loves. He calls that his baby, his favorite baby. But I was supposed to be off, and I was always supposed to show those, but I got to chat with you guys about dolls everywhere. And I never show in my room. I got so many dolls in my room, it's insane. But um, with that said, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. And like, comment, subscribe. And as usual, happy hauling.